Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Bloop. Bye week. And all that. Okay? All that jazz. But yes, we got Nene. She on bit over there at Radar Online, talking, telling her truth, <laughs> what she feel is her truth about her bosom buddy, Marlon Hampton. I'm like Nene. Now you know you wrong. You know you know you wrong. Y'all have been friends for I don't know how long. Okay, too long to probably even count. All right, she has been your ride or die, your ace boom coon, your dog girl. You know you should have been throwing her a peach party at the Lanithia Lounge when she finally got her peach. But she had to go over there with Portia's ex boyfriend, ex baby daddy, and have him show her a good time with some food and drink. Yes, he hosted her peach party. Okay. But you were good friends with her, Nina. You were very good friends with her. And she always, from what I'm seeing now, because we're on the outside looking in, living vicariously through you all, the world. Okay? But from what I stand, from, from where I stand and what I've seen on her being on the Housewives of Atlanta with you as her friend, being introduced to the show, um... Uh, you could have, you could have, kind of let things be how they were with your job situation or your suit with Bravo Entertainment and the rest of the alphabets over there, the other entities you're trying to secure the bag with. But you, 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 you don't have to do Marlo like that, girl. You have, you ain't have to leave it like she doing this and you're out here. Nobody's including you. Woe is me type of scenario. I'm like, Candy is the one you contentious with. She the one that's getting on your nerve. Because she's everywhere. And like she said, her name, her face is going to be embedded in your brain. Okay, she said the ML, but I, I didn't think we needed to go through that. But yes, we're getting this story from Radar Online. I haven't really read it yet, but my daughter did a little piece on her YouTube channel. And I've been hearing other people give their take on it and their spin. And I'm going to give you mine. Because I really think it's just hurt feelings on Nene's part. She never thought that she would be at the age of, what, 54, 55 and not be a part of somebody's show where she can continue pulling in her six or seven figure income and she can hobnob with the rich and famous, okay? Because they've been there. She considered to be new money. You see what I'm saying? But it's like she's spending more money to get a lawsuit straightened out. To get her funds back how she wants to have them. But I'm like, Nene, even if you win, you still lose, baby. Because who's going to take a chance on you? In Atlanta Wood, as well as Hollywood, who's going to take that chance on you? Not trying to maybe sue them later on if you have grievances with them. You know? So, whatever you getting it for, baby. I hope you get it for a lifetime. And, and you invest real well because I just don't see it. I don't see it. If you win, you still lose. But I'm like, you kind of being shady. You you being a little shady about Marlo and her peach now. Now, you knew she was going to get one. And you kind of pushed her in the door and secured her stay as a friend. But, honey, if Portia didn't, didn't cut up and they didn't get rid of Cynthia. But we didn't need Cynthia. And, like, we don't really need candy uh, unless she's trying to give us a state storyline. Because I don't really think anything is really wrong with her and Todd. But they have to push that because that's pretty much what people been talking about anyway. But that's another video I'm going to do just strictly for them. <coughs> and try to break it down uh, to you all in my way of doing things. Okay. 
But I'm like, nay, nay, girl, you taking salty tablet pills, girl. Now the shoe is on the other foot, and Marlo is making a six to seven figure uh, salary, and you know it's putting her name more out there than when, than what it was worth before, you know, because she definitely is, you know, moving and shaking in different lanes now. She's not considered to be the ex-con, like Ken trying to <laughs> make her be reminded of where she came from. But just like JC said, Jay Z said in one of his lyrics, "It ain't where I've been. It's about it's about where I'm about to go." Yeah, I'm a hustler, baby. Yes, that's who I am. Something. I don't, I don't, I don't, something about your man. <laughs> I don't tell. I don't listen too much to too much rap. Okay, but when I find a little song, got a little beat to it or whatever, I try to remember some of the lyrics. But anyway, let's just go on and get into what Radio Online had put out on Miss Marley, uh, Miss Nene Leakes, and Miss Marlo Hampton. Uh, they titled it Real Housewives of Atlanta alum Nene Leakes shares the real reason she and BFF Marlo haven't spoken after lawsuit drama. Okay, it was written by Samantha Ben Be let me call it Beninis Ben Bentinis or something like that. Okay. We'll just call her Samantha B. But anyway, it goes into her article. Reads like a Real Housewives of Atlanta alum Nene Leakes spilled the tea on her friendship with Marlo Hampton. Admit her legal battle and with the franchise. The former Bravo Letty or Bra what is it? Bravo Liberty or something like that. Okay. Who is currently suing Andy Cohen, NBC Universal, Bravo, True Entertainment, and Truly Original over claims of a hostile and racist working environment said uh, that she and Hampton have been focused on themselves. Okay. During an Instagram live video, one fan brought up Hampton and asked if they were still close pals now that Hampton is a full-time cast member. Oh, uh, what she's doing now? Lord, they say she's wearing furs and running around. Leaks read aloud with a laugh. I don't know what's going on with these girls. I don't, honey. I try not to keep up. Now, sidebar, Nene, come on now. Did you really have to throw shade? Well, shade wasn't need to be. It wasn't need to be thrown because I know Marlo went on several talk show platforms and they asked her about you, and she just did the quick, fast, and the hurry thing. We, you know, this is about me. This is not about Nene. But Nene is fine. She's in a good place. We haven't spoken to each other in a while. But she's just needing this process to grieve. You know. And maybe she's still grieving about, you know, Greg. Is what I think she was trying to hint to. And the loss of a job and all the other things she's going through for the negative. So, you know, I like how Marlo, like, put it back on me. Put it back on me. We ain't going to talk about Nene. But she did say when she was, uh, I think it was Speak On It with Candy, she was saying Nene has definitely opened doors for her. She definitely have put money in her bank account. Uh, and she just had wonderful things to say about Nene. So I'm like, Nene, for you to come back and try to throw a little shade here, I'm like, you doing a little tap on the chin to Marlo, like, baby, I got you there, but don't think you're going to stay there because they dirty. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, Nene, come on. Because one thing, Marlo's not attacking things like you did. You went about it the wrong way in everybody's eyes, pretty much, okay? And then you still won't keep your mouth shut. It's almost like you got the best attorneys out there fighting for you. Let them earn their money, okay? Let them earn their money. If it don't seem like behind closed doors, they getting a lot done or whatever, you need to replace the lawyers, okay? Before you go to trial, if it is a trial situation, okay? Because they might want to just pay you a little bit here and there and sweep you on off, you know, to yonder land. And then you can't do double, you can't do double jeopardy where you have to sue them again. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you're getting everybody in one big nutshell. But I thought it was kind of piss poor that you're going to be taking jabs at Marlo when Marlo Hampton was out him letting everybody know if it wasn't for you. You wouldn't be on Real Housewives of Atlanta. You wouldn't be making that six, seven-figure check that she's bringing uh, out to fruition. She'll still be living in that uh, condo with her two uh, 
nephews and making it do what it do. You see what I'm saying? Because ain't nowhere in the hair. I, well, she moving too fast for me because ain't nowhere in the world. I would have moved out that condo or be thinking about moving out that condo until I saw two or three good seasons where I had, you know, money packed. So you could actually buy your house like Kenya Moore did. She, I, I think Candy did too. But I know for certain um, Ken, uh, Kenya did because she made it a point to tell us. <clears throat> so I'm like, girl. But anyway, we're gonna go on. What is this? Clean speaker. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Let me go back to the article. It said, um, Leak said <clears throat> that her and Hampton have not remained in touch. Although she reiterated there is no bad blood between them. I haven't spoken. Uh, tomorrow in a long time it's crazy you know what I'm saying we don't have any issues but I don't know what's going on it's just like that that's how that show is she continued and <clears throat> sidebar again I'm like Nene girl you bringing the smoke okay so that means the network is gonna bring the fire okay smoke and fire flames you see what I'm saying Nene so, of course, nobody in their right mind would want to be involved or caught in the middle where they have to choose between one or the other. Because I'm going to tell you, Milo is making plans to be, uh, be better and bigger than what she is now. So, she's not going to rock the boat with the person that pays her the money, okay? She's trying to be smart about it. So, there's no sense of you rocking her boat and trying to make her feel some kind of way or poking the bear thinking you're going to get a rise out of her. I'm like, girl, go on and play with Candy. Candy like to play with you over there. What is wrong with my phone? Okay, but anyway... We're going to go on and continue reading the article. It said, um, Leaks claim higher-ups in the network don't want current cast members mingling with former co-stars, alleging it's a conquer and divide strategy. Hampton previously sounded off about Leaks' legal battle last month, keeping tight lip on the subject while also showing support to her friend. See, that's what I was saying. I don't know where she was. I think she was on... I, it was it was speak on it. She was on, doing it with Ken, and she was doing it with uh, some. It was name Mike Rappaport or something like that, because she he's still filling in of the um a host over at the Wendy Williams show. But you know, I'm like Nene, that's a lie too. Okay, they don't. Evidently, they don't care. Nene Bravo don't care what the cast members do. They probably just tell told them don't talk about the case when you're with your friends or what come they can't really tell you who to hang around and who to associate with that's something a company just don't necessarily do unless there's some infractions going on where you're going to leak company um what do you call it company secrets or something to that nature but usually no because if that was the case then portia is not on Real Housewives of Atlanta. She don't have a current show. That they're uh, letting her be under their brand doing. But she's hanging out with Drew Sedora. Drew Sedora is a full time peach holder. Okay. And um, let me see. Well that's all I can really compare to. But I think uh, Marlo still hang around. Or, or say some things to Marlo. Uh, so no, that is not true, Nene. Uh, but thank you for trying to point the arrow in another place or trying to put Bravo Entertainment in the dark and making them seem even more dirtier. But that theory is not holding water. Um, then we got it says Hampton. Okay, you know, we're going to leave that where it is. The new peach holder said during an interview on Extra. Just sending my sister some love and kisses and we're going to keep talking about me and my peach and how it's my time to shine, baby. Uh, Leeks didn't hold back in her court filing stating that after season 11 came to an end, the retaliatory, discriminatory, and harassment treatment she dealt with persisted. Okay, the reality star said she was not offered a contract for season 12 until after the episodes had already begun filming. This was 
<coughs> this was not typical and it was retaliatorial. She was also, again, offered a lower number of guaranteed episodes than she should have been offered, her lawyer argued. As for Cohen, leaks claim that he and the NBC Bravo have continued to blacklist her and sabotage her attempts to secure work beyond Real Housewives of Atlanta. And then this, the um, commentary ends right there. But I'm like, oh, nee, 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 nee. Your horns are showing, baby. Your horns are showing. And like I said, I don't think Bravo would allow or make like their cast members can't talk with you. Can't hold a conversation with you. Can't, you know, uh, have lunch to have dinner. You know what I'm saying? In a rat. I don't think they would have done that. They probably just told everybody to don't discuss the case. Period. And point blank. Now, you know, if they came over to the Lanithia Lounge, want to show you love, want to put, you know, coins in your pocket and st stuff of that nature, would you have took it as a good friend gesture? Or would you have been proging them, poking them, like they say, poking the bell for information? That's probably what they don't want to be bothered with you about because you would probably put them in that situation where you want to know some things what's going on give give you know give the tea pour it you know i'm ready to drink of it so you can possibly use it to uh further your case along and then when it comes out everything comes out uh the, the washer and it's ringing then it's going to be other people such as marlo giving trade secrets or saying what they're doing behind the scenes or what she's hearing this, that, and third. Then that's going to cost her her job. And then both of you. Well, you ain't going to be ass out. Because I'm sure they're going to give you something. If there is something to win about this lawsuit. And then what you going to do with Marlo? Marlo going to be ass out. She's going to be one of them wannabes. Trying to help you out. But she, you know, got messed up. Now she ain't got shit. Ain't got a pot to piss in. And a winner to throw it out of. Okay. So I'm like, that's piss poor, Nene. That's piss poor. Like I said, the person that you really need to be getting on, because y'all been fussing forever in a day, all right, is Candy Burris. Because <laughs> she said she was out there. Y'all were both sunning at the beach somewhere, uh, trying to get y'all tan on, get y'all waves and ocean and, you know, feel goods on, showing your bodies and this, that, and the third. And she recognized you and she hollered. She said, Nene. And you didn't ask. You didn't look back. She said, Nene. And then you turn back to where she was or where you thought somebody was hollering your name. You looked at them, took your shades down, and you peeked down, and you put your shades back up, covering your face, and then you turned around. Yes, Candy Burr said that. You did not even acknowledge her. Now, like a G like me, I've been walking your steps down, honey, until I got up with you. And then I would have asked you, what the hell are you doing? Don't you hear me hollering? Did you not hear me hollering a few minutes ago? Now, you can ask off if you want to. But you didn't have to do that. See, I would have been that confrontational type person. And then probably trying to leak it. That me and you got in a fuss fight and this, that, and the third. It, that, it, that's just me being messy. You know, and try to keep myself out there. In the public eye. Because, you know, like they say, bad press, good press is all press. Okay? As long as somebody's speaking your name out. That's why I don't know why people be trying to get on these bloggers and, and everything. We don't talk. And if, if if it's a sensational story, whether it's real or not, or it's just rumored, people going to listen. Because they're going to want to see what the T is. And then they're going to have to discern for themselves whether the conversation that was being had on somebody's YouTube channel covering somebody they like was true or false. Okay? Or could it be possibly true? All right? But <clears throat> that's all I had for this particular video with Miss Nene Leakes feeling some kind of way. Um, you know, you have to feel sorry for people like that. They don't bit off so much more than they could chew. And they don't ran the streets of gold. And then the gold streets didn't want them back. And they had to come back, coming down the ladder. As far as they went up so quickly, they had to come down the ladder and meet each and every person they stepped on while they were going up. And then they're down to just being a regular Jill or Jane now. You know what I'm saying? Holding their own business down. But it still doesn't garner you the type of press you would get when you're a reality star. You know, in the making. Or you have solidified yourself on a particular platform. And people are just knowing your name and this, that, and the third. But then you got to, you got to far too fast you see what i'm saying you let it swell your head because you weren't even trying to interact with people in here in atlanta 
uh, with, you know, recognizing who you were. You know, I'm like, girl, you got like you Janet Jackson or Aretha Franklin or Whitney Houston. You know what I'm saying? Girl, you thought you were way up there. It's like, no, because people do get the big head when they see somebody that's on a reality show these days or maybe was on a show that premiered on a regular TV station, well-known TV station. And, and they just want to say, hey, hi. And now we're with these selfies where everybody's taking a selfie of themselves or something. Is that. Because at one time when I was growing up, it was just getting an autograph. You know? just Because we didn't have phones back then. The autograph was just priceless. And then you would go and frame it and keep it and, you know, tell people what you, you know, how that person interacted with you. And, you know, they seem like they're down to earth or they seem like they're a bitch. You know what I'm saying? You would have those conversations. But now we got selfies. We don't need no autograph. We don't need none of that. We just want to be shown that we're next to somebody that's somebody in society. Okay? Or what society has deemed somebody is worth, I should say. But, um, yeah, that's all I got for this particular video. <clears throat> you like it, love it, gotta have more. Uh, definitely uh, come back to the channel. Don't be scared. Go on over to the other channel. I am breaking out videos uh, on that channel to make it make sense okay go and show your girl love subscribe like my videos share my videos do all the same thing that you're doing on this platform and i really really appreciate it but i'll see y'all guys next video thank you and good night